so we're going to begin with your standing corrections. Your feet are hip distance apart. You're going to place your hands on your hips. Elbows are reaching wide out to the sides of the room. And I want you to glide your hips over to your left a little bit. And you're pressing down, reaching out through the crown of the head. Rotate your left ribs back and a little bit over to the left. Right shoulder is going to open and right elbows reaching out to the right side of the room. Good. You're inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth. Belly's pulling back towards the spine, lengthening through the crown of the head. Good, and I want you to bend your knees. You're going to sit your hips back towards your heels, trying not to fall into those left ribs, and then press to straighten. So you may need to start with a little bit of a knee bend and then progress to deeper ones. I want you to focus on not falling into those left ribs, keeping them drawn up and into the body. And remember, as you straighten your legs, you're not locking your knees out. You're having a little engagement in through the glutes. And make sure you're pushing your knees out to the sides as you bend the knees and sit the hips back. And press to straighten. Good, make sure that you're correcting your hip glide. Good, two more times. And last time. And press to straighten, good job. Okay, just gonna make sure focusing on getting out of that right hip glide. <laughs> okay, I want you to bring your arms up into a teapot position. Elbows are reaching out wide. You're going to step your right foot back, sit down into that reverse lunge, and come back up to standing. So you're trying not to push that hip out to the right, keep it hugged underneath of you, and step back together. Okay, so now that you have progressed your hands on top of your shoulders and you're able to maintain your balance this way, as long as you can keep your form, I want you to try and start to lift that leg up to hip height, find your balance point, and then step your foot back into your lunge and stand up. Again, you're not locking out the supporting knee. You're having a little bit of a bend. Sit the hips back and lift up. Keep those left ribs back. Good, right shoulder staying open. Elbows are reaching super wide. Good, two more times. And one more time. Exhale and stand. Good, shake it out. And now we're going to do your other side. Okay, so hands back up on top of the shoulders, elbows lengthening out, right shoulders open, elbows reaching out, left ribs rotate back, and they glide a little, I'm over exaggerating, if they're gliding a little bit to the left, and then right hip rotates back. Now you're going to step back with that left leg, keep the right hip hugged in, and step back together. Inhale and bend. Exhale, press to straighten. Belly's drawing back towards the spine. Good. And then as you find your balance, Try and lift that leg up. So we're not here, we're here. Again, check yourself. Make sure that hip isn't gliding out. And up and hold. Step it back. 
up and hold. It's okay to be wobbly. That's the point. One more time. Step back. Okay, now I'm wobbly. Shake it out, okay. So now we're going to do side plank. Okay, so you're going to come down onto your right elbow here. It's right underneath of your shoulder and knees and hips are stacked on top of each other. You're going to press and lift your hips up, squeeze your glutes, hinge at the hips and lower back down. So your hips are slightly back behind you. You're going to lift the hips, press them slightly forward, hinge at the hips and lower back down. We're going to do three more times like this and then add on. I'd like you to reach those top arm up towards the ceiling. And last time, lift it up, press the hips forward, hinge at the hips, and lower down. Now we're going to add on. So you're going to lift the hips and open that top knee and hinge at the hips to lower down. So it's going to be more of a fluid movement. You're going to press to lift and open, hinge and lower back down. Good. Make sure that this elbow isn't sneaking out above your shoulder. Press to lift. Close to lower, belly's drawn back towards the spine. Two more times, press to lift. And lower back down. And press to lift. And lower back down, nice job. We're gonna swing your legs around to the other side. Okay, so now your elbows directly under your shoulder. Hips are stacked, knees are stacked. And you're going to reach this arm up to the ceiling. So you're going to lift the hips, push them forward, hinge at the hips, and lower down. So as you push the hips forward, make sure you're not going into your lower back here. So we're not arching the lower back, we're just finding a straight spine. So right now, my hips are back, so my spine's kind of folded. Now I'm straightening the spine, one straight line from my head to my knees. Hinging at the hips and lowering back down and lift forward, hinge and lower and one more time like this. Good, hinge and lower. Now you're going to add in that clamshell with those movements so it's more of an open and lift and lower back down, really reaching long through the collarbones. Open and lift, lower back down, open and lift, and lower back down one last time. Open and lift, and lower back down, nice job. Okay, so now you're going to make your way onto your elbows and your knees. So your elbows are directly under your shoulders. We're drawing the belly up towards the spine, really lengthening here. Go ahead and tuck the toes under, and you're going to exhale and bring the knees to a hover, and inhale lower. So make sure you're not falling into your concave ribs, those left ribs. They really want to fall forward in this position. It's a challenge. Stay strong through the belly button, zip up through your center, lengthen through the crown of the head. Inhale, lower. Exhale, hover and lift. Inhale, tap to lower. And one more time, exhale. Inhale, lower. Good, untuck the toes and just reach your arms forward. Give yourself a nice rest. Nice job. That's it.